Now, I'm not one to gossip, but I will bring you the tea. Welcome to Chronicle Speaks. Please, please, I don't have any time for any gossip now. Mm -hmm. Eh? Yes. Look at you. So this Kevin Hart story has me baffled since it's happened and after trying to research it, I can't say that I'm any less baffled. Inspector Chronicles is stumped on this video y'all and I'm really going to have to get in these comments and I want us to figure this one out together. Okay so let's start from the beginning. So your boy Kevin Hart turned 40 years old this year and he had celebrity parties, he just did everything big and for himself he gifted himself a 1970 Plymouth Barracuda. Now this car is at the center of the accident. Now Kevin Hart was riding in his car on September 1st just before 1 a.m. with his wife's trainer Rebecca Broxterman and her fiance Jared Black who was driving the car. Now I'm guessing Kevin was in the back seat as well behind the driver's seat because reports later came out that he got out through the driver's window. Now of course the car is a two-door so that kind of explains the obvious choice of the window that he chose to climb out of. Of course if there are no doors in the back there's no windows in the back so that kind of explains that. So the driver Jared Black lost control of the vehicle in Malibu on Mulholland Highway which sources are saying is about a mile from Kevin Hart's home. Now witnesses say they heard tires squealing. The car then crashed into a fence and off a 30-foot embankment. Actor and comedian Kevin Hart had to be hospitalized after being badly hurt in a Calabasas car crash. Two other people had to be cut out of the car when it rolled off the road down an embankment. This all happened early this morning on Mulholland Highway just east of Cold Canyon Road. That's where CBS 2's Greg Mills is reporting from tonight. This is Mulholland and this is where it happened. Went through the fence and down an embankment that's about 30 feet deep. TMZ video shows Kevin Hart's car after it crashed through this fence and rolled down this embankment just before 1 a.m. CHP says Hart and friend Jared Black suffered major back injuries. Hart was rushed here to Northridge Hospital. Black is at UCLA. This happened on Mulholland Highway, just east of Cold Canyon Road. The people who own this large property on Mulholland told me they didn't hear the crash and discovered the damage in the morning and had no idea their famous neighbor was involved. Hart's classic 1970 Plymouth Barracuda was a 40th birthday present to himself. He posted it on Instagram and said it was to add more muscle to the family for his 40th. CHP says Black was driving Hart's beloved Barracuda, pulled out of Cold Canyon near Hart's home onto Mulholland and immediately lost control of the car. You can see the skid marks here. The car slammed through the fence, rolled down the embankment, trapping Black and passenger Rebecca Broxterman inside the car. LA County Fire had to cut the roof off the car to get them out. Hart was able to get out of the car on his own and went home about a half mile away to get help. Hart and Black suffered serious injuries. CHP says Broxterman was not injured. CHP also says it determined Black was not driving under the influence. Black's father told me that Jared will undergo back surgery. As for Kevin Hart, we reached out to his reps, but uh, haven't heard anything back. Okay, so this is where things get a little sketchy for me. Now, they're all in Kevin's car, right? It's almost 1 a.m. in the morning. No reports on where they were prior. No pictures saying this is Kevin Hart an hour before the crash. You know there's cameras everywhere, honey, in California. None of that happened. Now, TMZ is reporting that they were obviously on the way to Kevin's house and they're also reporting that they were at Kevin's house prior to this all happening. Now where they ended up going after they left Kevin's house that required them to go back to Kevin's house, I don't know. However, Kevin's security was following the car and after the accident happened, a witness claims that Kevin's security guard helped to get Kevin out of the driver's window. Now he also states that the security guard helped Kevin walk up towards the roadside. Now listen to this part. Kevin looked directly in the witness eyes and then he looked at his bodyguard and Kevin said to the bodyguard, who the f is this? Then Kevin and his security guard then got in an Escalade and left. They didn't call the police, didn't assist in helping the others wait for help or anything, honey. Hell, he could have waited right there and had the police come and rescue them all up. But Kevin left and went home. Now, y'all listen to this 911 call from the witness trying to get help for the other two friends that were stuck in the car. And then I'll come back with some more. Oh, hold on. Is he, everybody in the vehicle awake? Um, yeah, they're both awake. Well, uh, sounds like the passenger's stuck in the car. Uh, the driver is out of the car. 
But yeah, he looks a little hurt. Uh, I think the top of the car is crushed. Okay, and how many vehicles involved total? Two? It, no, it's just one car that went off. Uh, I'm here with another car that stopped to pull over. Uh, I mean, pulled over to help. Uh-huh. Uh, and that's it. So there's only one car that went off. Okay. Uh, and everybody uh, else is, everybody is conscious and breathing. She's just the only one that's actually stuck inside the vehicle? Yeah. Is uh, the vehicle overturned at all? No, it's not. It's just, uh, it's off the, it's just on the angle on the hill. Okay. If I need to cut jaws it's out. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure they'll be able to do that. Yeah, there's okay. two people in the car. Yeah. There's two more in there? Yeah. There's a driver and the passenger. I think the other person that's here was yeah, helping. But how many are still two stuck in the car? Two are stuck in the car, so there's three, I guess. Two, okay. Alright, are, are both of them conscious? Yeah, they're all conscious. Okay. Help's coming, guys, don't worry. The ambulance is on the way. You guys okay in there? Stay calm, help's coming. Okay, y'all, so y'all just heard the 911 call, and this is where things get even more strange for me. So the accident happened at 1245. That's when the first 911 call that you just heard happened. Now, a call is made from Kevin Hart's home at 2.13 a.m. from an unknown female. Although she sounds a lot like a Nico to me, we're going to go with what they said, unknown female. And she says that Kevin is not coherent, he's having trouble moving, and that the accident happened 20 minutes ago. When the accident now is going on hour number two. Now, why did it take that long to call someone if he was just one mile from his home and in dire need of help? Why didn't Kevin stay on the scene and get treated there? Child, y'all listen to this 911 call and I'll be back with more. LA County Fire number six. Hi, I was in an accident. I just need to know who's on. I need someone to come get him. Who's this? Thank you. And he's at a house, apartment, or business right now? Yes, he's in a house. In a house. Okay, in the good. And you wait? Yeah. Okay, and so he was in a car accident earlier tonight, or what happened? Yes, earlier tonight. I don't know what happened. Okay, he's but... Scared. He's not coherent at all. Okay, so is he... Okay, is he breathing? Yes, he's breathing. Okay, so... He was injured in a, a car accident. Did he get treatment originally from when he was injured? Did he go to the hospital or? No, 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 no treatment at all. We, we're just here and he can't, he can't move. Okay, how long ago did the accident happen though? How long, I mean, a couple of hours ago or, or when? Like 20 minutes ago. Okay, and so did it happen in front of your house? No, not in front of our house, outside of our, our gated community. Okay, but now he's inside the house with you, correct? Correct? Yes. Okay, the fire department's on the way. We want to keep him in a very stable position and not move him. How's his breathing doing right now? He's okay. He's breathing. Okay. He's breathing. Okay. Is there any uh, obvious broken bones that you can tell? you see anything broken? I just Something on his back is pulling out on his spine, and that's... I'm not sure. Okay, but there's no, no, there's no blood or bone or anything sticking no, out through there? Not. Okay. No, no. Is there? Any, is he throwing up? Any vomiting? No vomiting. Okay. No does he? No. Does he look pale, cold, or sweaty to you? No. No. Okay. Just keep him as comfortable as you can. Not a lot of movement. Okay. We'll be right okay. there. Child, something ain't right, y'all. Something just ain't right. Why did he leave the scene to go home only to wait an hour and a half to call for help? What is the big cover up here? Anyways, according to TMZ, he is in a grueling stage of recovery right now. The doctors had to repair three fractures to his spine. They had to fuse two of the fractures in the thoracic section of the spine and one in the lumbar. Now, they're saying the procedure was a success and Kevin is still going through a great deal of pain right now and having to take heavy pain medication and we all know what that usually does to these celebrities so keep Kevin in your prayers they're saying that Kevin's pain is very very intense but doctors do expect him to make a hundred percent recovery but it's gonna take some time to make it to the road of recovery now Jared Black has experienced back surgery as well and things seem to be okay for Rebecca Broxman the police are currently investigating this accident and rightfully so because something is a bit off about this story y'all gotta tell me what y'all think about this leave a comment tell 
tell me what you think about Kevin leaving the scene of the accident. Why did he leave and why did it take him an hour and a half or take the people at his home an hour and a half to make that phone call to the police if he was in that much pain, which you can honestly see that he was. Leave a comment and tell me what y'all think. You know how we do. We'll talk about it down below. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Now, before I end this video, I want to tell you about a company called Ash Kicking. Now, you know your girl Chronicles would not promote a company without doing one of those thorough Chronicle Speaks investigations, honey. And Ash Kicking definitely passed the test. Y'all make sure to check out ashkicking.com for one of the best 100% natural home fragrance and beauty products, honey. And use my code Chronicles at checkout for an extra 15% off just for you. Also make sure to check out X Moisture which is a 100% organic moisturizer that destroys all your skin problems. Eczema, dry skin, rosacea, you name it, they got you covered. They also have before and after pictures. Check them out at www.xmoisture.com and tell them your girl Chronicle sent you. And before you go, don't forget to hit the bell for notifications, like this video, and subscribe. And we'll talk to you guys later. Bye!